This isn't special occasion dress though, for us. <laughs> uh, very different, we wear hats and things. <laughs> yeah. clothes because they were it was a gift from my friend's mom she sent the clothes over from Nigeria so I was wearing it because I need to remember to call her to say thank you <laughs> yeah yeah it's funny because um like I was just saying you know you go out with a specific thing to photograph and sometimes you come back with something entirely different to what you imagined you'd get but then that is what you get and actually sometimes you've got to sort of think of that as some kind of serendipity really um, and the project becomes something else well I'll show you I'll show you my hat my son used to get really embarrassed by the by the clothes that I wear I can't imagine why um, <laughs> And, uh, and one time we had a, we had a huge row because I, I, I took him to, to primary school and he, he's, 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 he couldn't stand my purple shoes. Um, he's, he, said to, he said to me, you, you just wear these things to show me up in front, in front of my friends. Right, I'm playing. 41 pounds for your full house. 10 pounds for your line. 80 pounds for your five numbers. And 15 pounds for your raffle. That'll do. That's better. Right, the first number for a line is one and six, sixteen. One and five, fifteen. Four and two, forty-two. <laughs> I, I don't like all my photos. I, I, don't, I don't take a very good photo. Can we see it you after it? you've done it? Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, show you some of them. Um, let me just. Sir and Lida. Great stuff. Right, okay. So, take a little step. So, could you come on this side because you're slightly taller? And then come a bit, come over a bit, over a bit, and then towards me. Yeah. Just there. Okay. Right, hold it there. Yeah, no, no, I am so wearing remember. these things are, are useful when it comes to uh, to events sometimes because it tells people who you are. Yeah. So if I'm doing funerals, quite often people will say, maybe we want a non-religious funeral, but they want me in a dog collar mm -hmm. because they want some measure of status to add to what's going on. Well, you've got to dress um, 
with your best clothes today. Mm. It's, it's actually a, a day of celebration. It's a day of um, breaking the fast as well after being fasting for nearly a month now. <laughs> Not fast at all, to be honest. But yeah, it's a family gathering event, um, feasting or dining together with family, meeting friends and celebrating the events of Eid not just Eid as in the Muslim community, it's for the, the community as a whole, the community of Bengri, the community of Sheffield, and as a society we are all integrating together. We all understand our festive seasons, we all understand our holidays, and it's much like um, it hasn't become just a, relig or a religious celebration, it's, it's more like a, a universal Workability. Love it. Thank you. Like clothes, so yeah, the clothes to be to be workable and easy to use, mm. and also once in a while to reflect personality of who we are. Yeah. So and we mix them up, mm. modern and traditional. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Nice to meet you. Right. Okay, so when you put the street pastor's uniform on, there's something uh, about it. it, gives you some sort of courage, authority or whatever. But because we've got that on, and obviously we're together and everything, but it does give you some sort of... Uh, status, um, authority, yeah. I think, or, or whatever, protection. Yeah, and obviously we pray and we ask God to pr to be with us and protect us. But there's something about putting that putting the uniform on, both here and in town, when we do it in town, that is different. That makes it makes it different. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's a little cue to the coffin bearers mm. that the conductor is ready to proceed. Uh, and again, they don't walk off until they've been instructed to do so. So it's just, I imagine there's a lot of visual cues that are necessary because you don't want to...